Emergency responders swarmed this quiet residential street Saturday afternoon after a deadly plane crash. Neighbors say they were startled by a loud sound. Then they saw a home go up in flames. We need an ambulance to the scene. Authorities say a small Cessna aircraft was carrying three people when it crashed in Unionvale. The plane had originally taken off from Orange County Airport, but stopped at Sky Acres to refuel. Just after taking off, the pilot reported engine trouble. I was in my house and I heard boom, boom. The plane crashed into a two-story home down this street, causing the building to burst into flames. One man on board the plane was killed. Two others survived the impact. It appears that the plane struck the south side of the residence, causing major structural damage. So the exact point of impact will be determined uh, through the NTSB and the FAA. Three people were inside the house. Authorities say one of them has died while another is still missing. There was a woman in the house and she jumped out of the window onto a ladder with her dog and she uh, told us that there was a, uh, a man in the house, which was her father. Authorities say there were also several pets in the home when the plane crashed. A friend of the victims posted these pictures on social media, asking neighbors to look for three dogs believed to be missing. There is uh, going to be uh, certainly a, a great deal of work underway. Uh, there's not a lot of questions that can be answered at the moment. An update now on the death of a longtime New Orleans journalist. We're learning more now about the pilot. His name, Franklin J.P. Augustus. He was a stunt pilot, and the reporter, Nancy Parker, was doing a story about him when the plane crashed shortly after takeoff. Parker was a fixture there in New Orleans, reporting for the local Fox station for 23 years. She leaves behind a husband, three children. The NTSB is still investigating. We do start in Houston. Seven people shot and a neighborhood sprayed with bullets. It's called what's an instant party that can be formed through an app. Micah Hatfield from affiliate KTRK reports the shooting began after an argument at that party and also led to a car chase. Take a look. One shooting drive-by in progress. The gunfire was an alarming wake-up call Shot at a house for people who live on Mila Street. I, need an ambulance here. I think everybody in the neighborhood probably around, around like 20 shots, something like that, around 25 shots. I fell out of bed and went running to my, my daughter's room to see if she was okay. They say seven people, ranging from teens to young adults, ended up being shot after an argument at a house party. People began mouthing off to each other. And that's when bullets started flying. Four people were shot at the house, and everyone scattered, taking off in their cars. Detectives say the suspects followed one of the cars, carrying the people they got into a fight with onto I-10 and shot three of them. They were found at a nearby gas station. Well, usually what they do at parties, but doesn't usually end like this. But this time, the cul-de-sac looks like it was sprayed with bullets. Saturday morning, people who live nearby cleaned up shattered glass from their car windows that had been shot out. At least three cars were hit and two homes. For some, this could have ended much differently. And that's so, my, my bedroom right there. Yeah. Really? Yes. So a little bit of a, a, a jerk or something by someone with that gun, you could have been hit? Yes, could have, yeah. What I was just mainly concerned about my daughter. Detectives believe there were between two and three shooters. They tell us everyone who was shot is expected to live. 40-year-old quarterback Josh McCown has come out of retirement to sign a one-year contract with the Philadelphia Eagles. McCown, who stepped away from the game to spend more time with his family, has now been with 11 different teams in 18 seasons. He's completed passes to more than 100 different receivers. And the youngest player currently on the Eagles roster, Nate Herbig, was just four years old when McCown made his NFL debut. Social media showing mixed reactions, some bringing Colin Kaepernick into the conversation. At Alex Whitcomb tweeting, I'm a big Eagles fan, but I do have to ask, is Josh McCown really better than Colin Kaepernick at CelticBird23 tweeting that Colin Kaepernick is nine years younger with four playoff wins on his resume while McCown has never even played in the playoffs. At Bears Bonanza tweeting simply, you can't keep Josh McCown down, he's back. The Eagles have had two backup quarterbacks injured during the preseason. McCown will play backup to starter Carson Wentz. Why the world continues to debate how to handle climate change, the facts are crystal clear. Climate change is real. In fact, the past four years have been the hottest on record, and 20 of the hottest years on the list 
have all occurred in the past 22 years. That's dating back to 1850. Earth's average surface temperature has risen by nearly 2 degrees Fahrenheit since the late 19th century.